हेलो सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैम वी विजिटेड योर प्रॉपर्टी येस्टरडे एंड आई लाइक द लोकेशन ऑफ योर प्रॉपर्टी आई लाइक द फूड सो आई वॉन्टेड टू नो मोर अबाउट योर प्रॉपर्टी योर सेल्फ एंड द डबल डेकर रूट ब्रिज थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग दैट क्वेश्चन टू अस माई नेम इज डेनिस माई वाइफ इज कारमेला नमस्ते here this is village belongs to her she is from this village okay uh, so i am originally from tamil nadu okay so we are married for the last 40 years okay. we used to spend our holidays here when wherever we are in india i was working in a bank mm-hmm. so whenever we come for holidays we used to come here okay and we had spent uh, quite like two weeks three weeks sometimes a month also mm-hmm. enjoyed our stay here okay that time people were leaving this place because there was not much opportunity okay so i used to tell them at the time also that uh, we do something on tourism mm-hmm. i didn't have any experience in it i used to suggest like that okay and uh, that was it okay uh, but it was like uh, normally here they didn't want outside people coming and staying here mm-hmm. there was there were a few view points developed by the government in cherapunji town okay people were coming mm-hmm. seeing all that by 3 o'clock 4 o'clock they will rush back to shillong okay so it was all shillong centric mm-hmm. and it was a day destination only okay. even the government bus also was like that okay. they come bring the people take around the view points and take them back mm-hmm. so later when i decided to quit the bank job i thought why not we ourselves do it mm-hmm. we will try to revive our village mm-hmm. by bringing the market to the village okay so because our people were originally trading in uh, like uh, iron and gold from mamlo down to the plains mm-hmm. and uh, the fruits and everything between the plains and the trade was going through and they were good at it mm-hmm. so because the market was closed after the independence and the partition mm-hmm. uh, so they couldn't access the market people had to leave mm-hmm. and there was no other opportunity the roads were not developed much mm-hmm. and uh, so when we started this road had been connecting from mamlu through mamlu had uh, already been done mm-hmm. it reduced the distance mm-hmm. and uh, we thought we'll do it in the village we'll try to engage our youth from the village itself okay. to deliver the services okay. so that's how that's all we had in mind that's how we started mm-hmm. so okay. when we started uh, the, this one like we had we are the first property It's now 22 years now, okay. and uh, like uh, we didn't have much of an understanding. Only thing is that we we'll thought we'll take care of the guests as they have come to our house. Okay. That's how we started with six rooms, okay. and uh, over a period of time we gained little experience. Then after five years or so, only other properties started coming one by one, one by one like that. Now we had an opportunity in uh, uh, somewhere in 2014. Uh, we got a place on lease from the government hmm. that was in Charapunji town itself. Hmm. So that it was meant to be a wayside restaurant. Hmm. So we uh, start, you know, uh, wanted to do what to do. We are not uh, like uh, how what type of restaurant to put. Hmm. Then we observed that people were going down uh, just after breakfast, and they are far away from that point for lunch. and uh, so what we did we thought okay then uh, somebody who had stayed with us long time back had mentioned to me there's no place for vegetarians yes that was our problem so this was in my back of my mind whenever he said you have an opportunity you do something for vegetarian okay so and our resort we had non veg food also but this was something that uh, was in my mind mm-hmm. so we thought we'll do vegetarian okay and uh, we wanted to feed more people let us uh, make it like a thali system mm-hmm. competitive pricing mm-hmm. good quality food and unlimited so people go full stomach mm-hmm. not that mm-hmm. the money in the pocket should not restrain them from having less food okay. but let them be unlimited mm-hmm. that was the idea you know? okay. so there were uh, two types of thali special thali will have little more items Mm-hmm. Uh, so that yeah. concept we tried okay. and the people liked it yes and uh, within 4 months uh, we were not, not able so, to accommodate the people so there mm-hmm. uh, so about 4 uh, uh, months time 
the 50 chair, chairs used to be filled up. Oh. People were waiting in the queue. Oh. Uh, uh, so then we requested the tourism department help us to make it a little bigger. Okay. But uh, they so we requested them. Since... Then they said the the funds doesn't permit. So if you can do it yourself, you do it. Okay. So we expanded the dining hall mm -hmm. to seat another 100 uh, uh, people. Okay. So at a time we could give 150. Okay. Even that door started getting filled up. Oh. <laughs> and I realized the demand for vegetarian food. Then that concept I brought here. Okay. Let us give a buffet, mm. give them a good spread mm. and uh, pure veg. So we started that. Mm. Though we had a separate non-veg kitchen, we had a separate Hello. kitchen for this. This one was there. And people really started liking this. Mm -hmm. uh, here the same concept, unlimited. You should not be concerned oh, my pocket is limiting my stomach. No. <laughs> you should have your food. Your holiday should be like really enjoyable. And we are promoting it as a place for families mm -hmm. and kids playing around, having food. Mm -hmm. So it is within the capacity of a middle class family also to have a comfortable holiday. Mm -hmm. So we are not pricing our rooms high. We are packaging it with the food also. If they look at it, uh, really in other places they have to pay just what I am charging for only for the room. The food will be another uh, 3,000, 4,000 rupees. Yes, uh, whereas uh, here, within that you are getting the food also. My idea is that let more people, let it be in the affordable range for more people. And like uh, it's uh, not only the people who can afford should have a good holiday, those who are having lesser means also should be a pleasure. And we are happy with that. We are not interested in making huge money or anything. We are happy with what we are able to do. And that's how we are working. Yes. We are also happy with the food and the location and the staying in your hotel. And all the services are given by our youth from the village. So that is our aim. We thought we will take our youth, train them and be able to deliver the service. Ultimately, the game is that create more local employment, mm -hmm. then our youth can stay and build upon this place. Okay. Instead of going out in search of jobs, mm -hmm. they can build this beautiful place and make a living out of it. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much for the service. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.